Here we are at the Watts Bar Lake. Uh, we got the dam there and the locks and uh, two Himalayans. We got Russ Williams there on the other bike and myself. How's the trip so far, Russ? Pretty good so far. Yeah. All right. They have an interesting place here, locked so the boats can uh, go up up river. But anyways, we're heading to Teleco Plains on Highway 68. It's uh, Friday morning, and we've spent the night here at the uh, Cherahola Trails Campground. Wayne uh, has a pretty good spread here. Had breakfast, really nice. Uh, Russ, first night camping out on the motorcycle. How'd it go, Russ? It went well. It went well. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, we're getting ready. A whole hour last night. <laughs> we're fixing to hit the trail, and uh, there's a lot of bikers here. There's a lot of guys riding the trail today, and uh, so it's going to be fun. And uh, let's get going. Well, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful morning here. Uh, we just went up on the mountain ridge and then came back down on the road. Uh, right behind me here is the Hiawatha River. Uh, it's a great little river for tubing. And uh, but of course, we don't see anybody out here today. It's Friday, but uh, anyway, you can see the water's kind of low. We haven't had any rain in four or five weeks, but anyway, it's a beautiful spot. You see the mountains in the background there. We're up on this high ridge road. Uh, last time I was here, that valley was full of fog. But uh, we're heading towards uh, Sassafras, is uh, where we're heading. It's about 10 miles on this gravel road. This is the area we've come down. Let me swing back around. And we're going that way. All right, we're having a great time. You know, I thought I didn't like riding in the rain, but uh, when it doesn't rain for five or six weeks, the conditions are dusty as hell. Really bad for the uh, second person in the trail. But anyway, very little water up here in the mountains today. But well, here's one waterfall. There's not much water here, but uh, take a look at this fall. Very dry conditions. Oh, Russ over there pushing off his uh, helmet mask, but uh, you can see. Nice little waterfall here. Not much water, but uh, a little bit. Russ, did yeah. you get your, did you get your helmet cleaned off? Yeah, I got it uh, wiped off a little bit. All right, we just made a crazy climb up the mountain. Uh, we're at uh, Mill Creek Overlook, and uh, you can see they're looking off into uh, Georgia. Tennessee there. It's quite a view. I'll walk over so you can get a good look at it. Like I said, the conditions are very dusty, so the uh, the bike that's, that's following behind me, you can see. <laughs> And my bike, the back of mine, got a little bit of dust. Yeah, very little. <laughs> What's that, Russ? Very little. You tired of eating dust back <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah. <laughs> I, hope, I hope I can cough some of that dust out this evening. <laughs> I got some wild turkey to wash it down with if you oh, need yeah, to. Oh, yeah, that and the Budweiser ought to do it. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Over and out.
What do you think, man? Bottoms out back there. Yeah, you probably need to adjust your spring and put it on full, but we can't do it here. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, it's, when I come up here, normally there's water, and all them depressions are all full of water usually. Water. Yeah. All right, just keep the momentum going. We'll be all right. All right, all right here we go. All right, Bucktown Road, here we go. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, and I'll get, I'll film you. Top of Bucktown Road. We made it up the rocky incline here. Now we're waiting for uh, our other two riding buddies to uh, show up. We can hear them in the distance, so they should be here shortly. What did you guys think of that one? That yeah, I figured that's the actually the most difficult portion of the whole thing. Yeah. Good? Yeah.
John Calvert. Here we go. Fearless. Oh, oh, oh. There's Russ. Oh, shit. Oh, fire that son of a back up. <laughs> oh, damn it.
I'm gonna need help. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my dad, he's stuck! He's stuck! Oh, it's deep. So what do you need, Dad? Oh, God. Alright. Well, we're stopped on the trail here, and uh, another bikers come by, and we can hear uh, bikes down below coming our way. So it seems like a popular spot, but uh, it's uh, it's been challenging today, that's for sure. Hello. How's the trail ahead? That's good. That's good. Pretty good. Yeah. Nothing ever goes as expected. Got a freaking flat tire on the trail. John's helping me fix it. And we've got the tire disassembled. We've changed tubes. He let me have his heavy duty tube to put in there. And, uh, Are you on the phone or are you recording? Recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, hey, it's just part of the day, I guess. Not the part that we uh, selected, but uh, it's just the. Uh, the laws of Murphy fell upon us here on the trail. <laughs> I'm glad John's here. I would have had a lot of trouble doing this because I didn't have a tube 
or the breakdown tool. I gotta get it, yeah. Otherwise, you would have to call I know. All right, well, look at, we got everything strode everywhere because we had to break, break everything down. Go ahead. There's the tire. There's the tube with the hole in it. Anyways, uh, here along the creek, uh, got the trusty Himalayan uh, that's uh, given me no trouble at all this trip. It's been uh, running just fantastic. I got it heavily loaded there with the Lomo bags and a dry pack, plus the Vitala bags up front. But uh, you can see we're pretty heavily loaded with all the camping gear. Our navigation system here. Uh, Kairosura phone with a uh, locust program, is what we're using. Beautiful area here. Very nice. There's people, there's campsites along here. It's all free camping and uh, very nice. 